Harris. Okay, I'm gonna admit right now, I don't have one kitten picture in the whole thing and I feel like there should have been some special directions so that I would know to have the kitten picture, but you know, that's fine. Um, so my name's Trista Harris and honestly, anything that I ever needed to know about management, I have learned on Ace of Cakes. It's been an important place for me and so hopefully it'll be useful for you too. Um, I'm the executive director of the Headwaters Foundation for Justice, which fund social justice organizations, but today I'm not gonna do my regular save the world speech that I always do. Um, today I'm gonna give you my top secret, secret to success, which is watching an obscene amount of television. So that's because I was a Gen X latchkey kid. Let's put up your hands if you were the Gen X latchkey kid. Woo! So that means that I learned to read from watching Sesame Street, learned about love from the Wonder Years, and learned about sex from Bobby Brown, which is just as disturbing as it sounds like it is. So TV continues to be my Mr. Miyagi, except now I learn good citizenship from The Daily Show, teamwork from Lost sometimes, and then some cool secret agent moves from Archer, and I don't know when that's gonna come in handy, but maybe it will, so I'm trying to stay prepared. So when it comes to leadership, Duff from Ace of Cakes is the guru by far. He's taught me everything I need to know. For those of you that aren't familiar with Duff, he runs a bakery called Charm City Cakes, and he has a show about his bakery on the Food Network. He has an unusually happy staff, not like that jerk that's on Cake Boss, and they make beautiful and creative cakes, as you can see here. Um, so with no further ado, here's what I've learned about management from Ace of Cakes. The first rule, if a, if a client asks for a cake, looks like a robot and needs to serve 50 people, those are pretty clear parameters, but are the legs made out of licorice? Are they made out of rolled chocolate? Um, are there electronics put inside so that the arms move when you put the cake on the table? Um, all those things are up to the staff to decide because the client's happy, they then get a cake that's way better than their expectations. And the staff member is able to make their own little special creation which keeps your staff happy, which is important. Next rule is to create an environment of teamwork. So let's say your coworker is, has a cake that's due in two hours. It's halfway finished, it's only halfway decorated. So does everybody say, thank goodness I met my deadlines, good luck to that sucker? <laughs> no, they don't say that because they got the teamwork thing going on. Um, they all pitch in and they get it done because the organization's reputation is on the line and quite honestly, everybody's impacted by that. So you want people to be willing to pitch in when you're running behind, so don't be a jerk. <laughs> the next rule is always play to people's strengths but give them some chances to stretch. So if you're great at making cakes that look like other foods, which is a very special skill, like this crab cake, very corny, um, <laughs> now it's your turn to create a detailed replica of the capital. <laughs> stretching your staff and asking your staff to, um, stretching yourself and asking your staff to stretch, make sure that people don't get complacent and bored in your organization. So you have to make sure that you have staff with an expanding skill base because that makes your organization stronger. So when things get screwed up, don't spend time worrying about who's to blame, just fix it. Did your coworker just bump into your cake and leave a big elbow print in the fondant? Wonderful, that's a fabulous chance for you to learn your special skills at making those teeny little flower things because you can cover up that hole. Um, expending energy on blaming people just wastes everybody's time and eventually you're gonna have to fix it, so stop bitching and moaning. So Duff uses interns for crappy jobs like washing dishes, but he also lets them try baking cakes for their mother's birthdays, because their mothers will appreciate it. Um, they may not become professional bakers, but they just might, and you could help them on their first step in their journey. The next thing is about building up your staff. So all the staff on Ace of Cakes spend most of their time going, that's a really nice cake. Um, they do it in person, they tell the staff member that they really like it, and they do it loudly so everybody else can hear, and I think that's really important. They also make sure that the potential clients know that they're absolutely fabulous. So they collect thank you notes and fan mail, they put all those things on their website, like this lovely little one from this girl in Topeka, Kansas. Um, and then people know to hire them, because they're wonderful. So the next rule is Duff works really hard to have fun activities for the staff. So let's say you're making a cake for cranberry farmers. So it's really important to get all the staff together. You put on some waiters. 
You go to the cranberry bog, you have a cranberry fight, obviously. That's what you do if you make that sort of cake. It's a hot day. Let's have ice cream for everybody. Those are little things that make the staff happy. And they stay committed to you as a manager and to your organization. And it's much easier to keep happy staff than to find new staff people. So in conclusion, Duff is a genius. He not only makes beautiful and delicious cakes, but he keeps his, his staff happy as they're doing really tedious, repetitive, deadline-driven work. And so you have absolutely no excuses to not keeping your own staff happy. <laughs>